We are putting the products you use every day to the test. So, Randy Feltis is here, everyone. <laughs> You tested out nonstick frying pans, and the question is, do you need a $100 frying pan, or will the good old cheapy do the job? Because that's really what we want to know. Where can we save our money um, if we need to save a buck or two? So Today you, we're going to find out. We're going to find out. One, two, out. three, four, five. Five pans. Okay. We're ranging from a $4 dollar, dollar, dollar store pan. Yeah, dollar store. $4. Dollars. Four buckies, you know, you know. That's a deal. It doubles as a ping pong paddle. Okay. Right? <laughs> And then we range all the way up to $120 non-stick. So the question is, which which one reigns supreme? What is yeah. the, the, the least amount of sticking going on? Okay. So first of all, you yeah. need to take a look at your pans and kind of see what's happening. And, and you okay. want some weight to it, right? Yeah. So this is kind of cheap and, and flimsy. That's the $4 pan. And then as we range, we get a little bit more expensive. I think what you really want it's when heavy. you're buying a fry pan, this is like one of my tests. Yeah. I need to be able to knock somebody out with it. <laughs> so like if an I intruder comes that. into the house, I need to be able to have some weight to it. It's like Smash. if you take that in the head, if, if the person's going to get back up, that's not a good pan. It's not a good pan. It's not a good pan. So, uh, we, and you know what? Here's what's interesting. I'm a, a, assuming you went from most expensive to least. Yes. Did you? Yes, it did. So this one is actually lighter than this one. Yes. So you never know. It might not, just because you're spending more doesn't mean you're getting like, a heavier pan. Do you pan. feel like you could knock somebody out with that? Yes, I could. Yep, see? Yes, yeah, so yes, I win, absolutely then. could. So here's what we're going to do. How would I take three eggs? Okay. You take two. Okay. All right? All right. So you're down here. Do I start here? You start here. Now, are you an edger or are you flat surface? Flat surface. Flat surface. See? Yeah. Right on. Okay, let's do this. Okay. Let's drop them in. And the test, I don't know why the test is always like nonstick without butter and olive oil. Because it's I would terrible, never do that at home. It, I know, but that's what they all say. So that's what we're doing today. If they say it, then we're going to test them. Okay. All right? All right. So here we go. Okay, you got three. I got three. Hey, Trace, Trace what happened here? I don't what know. What happened here? I did what I was supposed to do, and that's how it looks. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? An omelet wasn't made without cracking a few eggs. We're fine. We're fine. You know, Why are you trying to That is the true test to see if it's actually going to be able to... <laughs> <laughs> All okay, right. so now what do we do? So do we now look at we're going to wait, right? I'm going to turn the heat up a little How bit. How are you doing? But you don't want to go too hot. Like, we're not searing. So I think when we're talking nonstick pans, we also have to talk about, like, the, the do's and the don'ts, right? Okay. And so the do's are you want to use it for eggs. You want to use it for things that you're not going to, like, hit it with a with a steel spatula or a steel spoon right. or a whisk or something. This is a no, right? Is it, this a Unless no? you're a trained professional that went to culinary <laughs> school, then you're allowed. And I just brought that in case we get into trouble because, like, that's like a, like a razor blade. I can get in there and kind of manipulate the situation. Okay, all right. But we're going to try to kind of deal with the nonstick, right? Okay, got it. The next thing you want to do is you just kind of, when you clean these, they're very easy to clean. Yes. So, you know, like a soft sponge, you should kind of do that. And then to store them a little paper towel and stack them so the, the, they aren't getting scratched. Right. right, okay. So, and when you're cleaning them, do you even want to, you said a, a soft sponge. Yep. Um, but nothing abrasive. Nothing like uh, those scouring pads. No, none of the SOSs, of that. that kind of stuff. Okay. So I gotta ask, what do your nonstick pans look like at home? Well, they look terrible because I haven't put the paper towel in between them when I put them away. <laughs> so then that could be a case of, you know, at, at my place, we sometimes buy like the $20 to $30 ones yeah. in the restaurant, and they'll honestly use them for like two or three weekends and then psh, Get rid donate of them. them. Oh, donate, donate them. Good, they go, good. right? Because they're just only good for a little bit of time, right? right? And then the next thing you can What's do is maybe you want, oh, we're getting some little bit of bubbles uh -huh. over here in our little dollar store pan, right? You know what my prediction is in the dollar store pan? I want to know, yeah. I think the egg's staying there for all time. It's going to be there forever. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to totally be there forever. I don't think that is. You know what? I think, we can, I think it's time. I think we can come by and take a look, okay. right? Okay. You ready? <laughs> oh, maybe. Oh, boy. Wait. Is it coming out? It's a. Uh, Oh, it's, wow. Uh, this is looking a lot like my university experience. Yeah, this is... Uh, oh, boy. Because I made the mistake of buying, like, really super cheap pans. And yeah, this is what happens. You know, like, it's there. It's there. It's, it's there. there. It's Forever. Like, like a trained professional. Wait a second. Yeah, Here's you can do gonna, this. You, you got mean, We this. can get it out. Just we can get it out. Just it in the pan. But, like, you know, the, I there got you it go. out. I got I it out. Yeah. It's not so bad. It's not so bad. But... As you can see, I don't know if the would left some behind. So you know, if you want to save money in your pan, you're just going to lose 10% of your eggs every time you cook them. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. You're getting ripped off every time you make a meal. Every time.
Okay, so let's then see how. this is the Gotham Steel. I think you've seen this. Yeah, it's very pretty, and I suspect it yeah. might be pretty, but also useless. I could be wrong, though. I kind let's of see. like I kind of felt that way, but I got to tell you, I like the steel handles. Yes. Because you can pop them in the oven. You don't have to worry about that yeah. kind of thing. It's not translating. And then. Oh. Okay. Then What's excuse up, Buttercup? Me. That did a very good job. And that is, I think, oh like gosh, under thirty I take it bucks. Back. Whoa! I am so sorry, pretty. And you know that what? Was so rude to you. That is like that was impressive, actually. Yeah. And the other test, you know, when you get in the store, is you just kind of like. That's hot, Randy. If it sounds like kind of good, then it's usually pretty That's good. That's okay. Okay, we're getting. Should we see here how, how 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 this we make it out here? Okay, what do we got here? This is this the, is going to be a good one. You know what? Oh Again, my God, that's a good one. This is the tea fowl. Yeah. Trusted. There's true. the pans I have at home. They're you very have good. Those? Look yeah. at this. Now, I'm glad that happened. Are you? Well, you know what? The, the high edge, I'm really not sure about the high edge because when, you know what, I'm doing eggs, I kind of want to get in there. Yeah. I want a lower edge. You want to think about that with your pans as okay, well. That's now, non-sticking was great. Somebody wanted it. They didn't want it sunny. They wanted it over easy. That would be me. I'm an over easy girl. There you go. Now, I don't know what happened to this egg. I don't um, know who's responsible for that. But oh, no. Oh, no. Is it me or is it the pan? You no, know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. You sound as sorry as I feel. Oh, oh, you know no. what would solve that? What would solve that? Butter. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Butter. That's, uh, yeah. The rock. Yeah. I don't okay. Know. Okay. I don't know what that one. Is. So now we're at the we're at the the Ferrari here. Right. This, this, is, is, this is the, is the good all one. clad. This is the low edge. I can get in here nicely. Oh, that's and this beautiful. is like. But oh, you know what? That's There's beautiful. still. Oh. Still a little stick there. Okay. There's still a little stick there, but you know. This is kind of where we're at. I mean, yeah. it's still kind of coming out. And you, you know see what? The I should have turned the heat down. Maybe that was the issue. I'm trying to come up with all the excuses. The pretty one was the best one. I'm you know, sorry. I'm How sorry. much is she? She's like she was cheap. She was like 27 bucks. <gasps> Okay. I know, you saw and it, it was the best first. one, the Gotham Steel. Okay. But you know what, the all clad? Yeah. Still a pretty good weapon. Yes, yeah, still <laughs> a pretty good, a very weapon. good weapon. The T-Fall as well did amazing. Beautiful. Good work, Thank Randy.